friends, guess what? I am on Sao Miguel. I actually came to Portugal two months ago, more than two months ago. I came almost directly from um, Central America where I was um, working and I was traveling through like all the countries in Central America, which was really, really cool, uh, by the way. But I was super excited to spend the summer here in uh, Europe. Actually, that was kind of my dream since uh, last summer, because last summer I was in, uh, in South America, in like Peru and Bolivia and all those countries down there. So yeah, now I'm staying in Portugal until the end of October or even maybe more. So it seems like it's going to be a fun uh, summer. But even if I was staying in Portugal for more than two months now, I didn't really get to enjoy uh, the islands yet. I actually didn't even get home. I was here because of work, so they would send me from Lisbon in the afternoon and the next morning I was flying back to Lisbon and then again to Madeira, so you know, really hectic. Okay, I'm going to show you my uh, flight schedule. Like, I had to write it down because I was getting lost with all the flights and all these flights, it's flights only for... June. I've been meeting the same flight attendant and even if I came to São Miguel like seven or eight times in the past two months and a half, most of the times I didn't even make it home because I had no time. But last week when I was here I had a day off and I went home and I was just so exhausted from work that I was like, okay, I need to do something fun. Like in the past year and a half, my life's been evolving around work a lot. And other than that, I don't really do much. So the point of all this was that I was so exhausted and I was like, okay, I need to do something else that is not related to work. And I was like, okay, we are going to repaint my kitchen. I went to this store, I bought the color and I was like, okay, let's uh, repaint my kitchen white. Uh, <laughs> until now, it was like brown. I'm going to show you because um, today and tomorrow I have days off. So that kind of needs to be finished. Also, my parents are coming in July and my family. Anyway, the plan is to go to this store. We need to buy more paint. And other than that... Oh, it's June, so there are a lot of celebrations all over the island. So that's something we might do today. But also, I have a chance to stay on a boathouse here on Sao Miguel. So that's something we are uh, going to check out. I, I never stayed in a boathouse, so like, you know, they have uh, several boathouses parked here uh, in the marina. I'm pretty excited to try uh, that. Okay, let me show you this whole kitchen uh, project, because uh, the kitchen was brown, like this, right? Like the other half is still brown and the idea was to repaint it kind of into a lighter color. It's not white, it's kind of like whitish, something between white and uh, light brown. By the way, the house is a mess, like nobody lived here for months now. But now that I see the color, I think I got the wrong color um, in, in the store. Also, I cannot believe this, but this weekend there is one of the coolest celebrations in the town where I live and I have to go to Lisbon for work for the weekend. I'm at least going to show you the decoration, how it looks like. It's going to be without the lights, but the decoration is amazing. Like, it's a festivity that is going on for like two weeks. This weekend is going to be like the biggest party of all these, like, two weeks. So 
funny because I went to Nicaragua a couple of times earlier on this year and every time I see these little light bulbs it's always Managua coming to my mind because in Nicaragua Nicaragua is a country where half of the population lives in poverty but they wanted to make the capital city prettier so they installed like 140 I think like metal trees of life it's really cute and colorful but according to resources like one tree cost around 25 to 30 thousand uh, US dollars so they installed 140 trees like that so after they set these metal trees of life up um, they wanted to make them pretty in the evening as well and they installed more than two million little light bulbs on all of those trees and Nicaragua pays around one million US dollars for that per year so such a paradox right that it's one of the poorest countries yet it has like 140 metal colorful trees of life that cost the country like one million US dollars per year That's the party I'm not going to and there are like my friends texting me that it's going to be amazing of course it's going to be amazing but uh, in July there is going to be another festival it's called the Bliss Vibes that's the one I'm going to go to because I'm gonna be on the island and I don't work the second half of July I'm gonna be among the first people there 